Hey everyone, Shadows here. Today I'm be showing you how to easily port Fortnite buildings and POIs from the game files over to Blender. Now before we start the tutorial, make sure that you have Windows Offline 64-bit version of Java installed on your PC. If you don't, make sure to uninstall the version of Java you have right now on your PC and make sure that this Windows Offline 64-bit is installed. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the link in the description below where you can download the Blender UMAP importer by this guy. I can't really say his name so I'm just going to leave a link to his Twitter in the description below. When you get to this link scroll down to the bottom where it says assets and click on this zip file to download it. Once you've got the zip file downloaded, I've just dragged it to my desktop for convenience. You just need to double click it and drag out this Blender UMAP folder any way you want. So I've just dragged it to my desktop so it's easy to reach in the future but you need to remember where you've got this file. Once you've done this you can just delete this zip file and open up this Blender UMAP folder. And here we'll have a .bat file, a jar file, a few .py files, configs, we'll have these files right here. This config file right here, it might appear white to you and not a notepad file. If it does, just right click and click open with and then make sure you're opening it with a text editing software. So I'm just going to use notepad which comes with all Windows PCs, but you can use any text editing software you have. And now you can just click OK to open it. Now you'll see a bunch of text here, you'll see the path to the packs folder, some few versions and AES keys. We need to mess with this config before we start the program. So the path to the packs folder right here, this is where your packs folder is going to be. So right now the default, the default selection is already selected, it's in your C drive, program files, epic games, Fortnite, Fortnite game content and packs. If your packs folder is elsewhere, so if you moved it while you're installing Fortnite, you're going to have to put this path inside of here, but make sure in between each like folder destination you're going to have to put an extra backslash and make sure there's two backslashes in between. So this is the standard folder so if you haven't moved your packs folder then this should be fine. And then here you're going to have to change your game version. Uh, this is the game version of Fortnite so head to the link in the description below to join my discord server and go down to the AS key channel and here it will say what Unreal Engine version to use for Fortnite AS keys. Right now we're using version 4.24 for Fortnite keys so the game version is going to be 2 which is 2 for 4.24 but in the future if it changes to 4.25 or anything like this we're going to have to change this number right here. The game version we're going to leave as 2 and here's the game AS key. Right now the, uh, the editor only just came out earlier today so the AES key is perfectly fine this is the latest one but yet again go to the link in the description below join my discord server go to the AES key channel and make sure you put in the latest AES key right here and make sure it matches with this now here materials this is whether you want textures on your models as, uh, if you, on your imported models so if you have a bad PC I'd recommend not using textures but if you want a fully textured POI then just change this to true so we're just going to change this to true right here and then we can leave these two right here this last area, the UMAP to export, we need to find the path to, in the game files to the UMAP we're exporting. So right now it's exporting the rental shop, the boat rental shop. We're going to open up your model and we're going to find a different UMAP to export. So to find a UMAP that we can export, we're going to open up your model. If you don't know how to use your model, watch my portal tutorial. But make sure you open up your model and in the filter right here, we're going to search dot UMAP. Now we can just tick flat view and these are all the UMAP files that we can port to Blender. So to find a certain area of the map, we're going to do a space after the .umap and search your area. So I'm going to be porting the agency in today's video. So we can just search agency right here and here are all the paths to each agency. So we're going to be porting the agency HQ right here and we need to copy this path into our config file. So I'm just going to drag this to the side, keep this on the side and this package right here, we're going to have to change this path to this path right here so where it says Athena we're going to keep Athena there and we're going to change from what's after Athena so slash Apollo and instead and slash map slash buildings slash 9 times 12 instead 9 times 12 and then slash Apollo underscore 9 times 12 9 times 12 agency underscore HQ dot umap like this so now we've changed the path and it's going to be exporting the agency HQ instead of that boat rental shop. We can close U model and we can save this config file. And now we're ready to run the dot bat file. Go back to your Blender UMAP folder, and all you need to do right here is just double click this Windows batch file. And this, and if this pops up, just click yes. And now it will run a bunch of stuff in this command prompt. You're just going to have to leave this to run for like a minute or so, and it will export all the stuff needed, and then we'll be ready to import into Blender. 
Once the command prompt is finished, it will say press any key to continue. Don't press any key to continue as this data underscore dr we're going to have to use inside of Blender. So open up Blender, go over to the scripting tab and where it says open at the top, click open. Find that Blender UMAP folder, so mine's on the desktop. Double click it and then open up this umap.py file. So click it and then click open text. This data underscore dr at the top, we're going to have to change to match the one on the command prompt. So all you need to do is just copy this path onto there. So I'll back in two seconds once I've done so. Now when typing this in, make sure to always end it in two backslashes and some speech marks. And now we're nearly ready to import. Before we import, we need to make sure that we delete the light in our scene. I don't know why that always bugs out. And you also need to make sure that your Blender PSK plugin is updated and actually enabled. So right now mine's enabled and updated. But if it isn't, you're going to have to go to the link in the description below to download the PSK plugin. Change the branch from master to latest and then click clone or download and click download zip. Once you've installed this plugin, you're ready to run. So go to your uh, scripting over here, click Alt P and my PC will freeze for a second. But give it a minute and it will load in your POI or your building. Now my blender is finished importing and as you can see right here, we've got the whole agency fully textured right here for us to use in our blender projects. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new for frequent tutorials. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys soon. So now, as you can see, we've got the full. Now my importing is finished and as you can see, we've got the full agency right here inside our blend file. Fully textured, there are a little few errors, but these will be fixed in future updates of the UMAP and Portal plugin as it only came out today. If we zoom in inside, we've got the full interior as well. It's got everything and you can use this for your Blender projects or your artwork. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you have any errors, make sure to join my Discord server below and you can ask in there if you have any issues. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys soon.